Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, what is the principal theory in criminal law? In criminal law parlance, a principal is somebody who helps another to either commit or attempt to commit a crime. And in Florida, principals are held equally accountable as everybody else who is involved in the crime, regardless of their actual role in the offense. To be a principal in Florida, two things must have occurred. One, you must have a conscious intent that the crime be committed, and two, you must do some act or utter some word which is both intended to and which actually does incite, cause, encourage, assist, or advise another person or persons to commit or to attempt to commit a crime. So if you drive me to the bank, both knowing that I'm going to go inside and rob it, and if you want me to do so, and if I do, then you're going to be held equally accountable and responsible for the bank robbery that I committed while you were in the car. To be a principal in Florida, you do not have to be physically present when the crime occurs, so let's take it a step further. Let's say I carry a firearm during that robbery. All of my principals are going to be equally held accountable for the armed robbery, even though they never touched the gun, and even if they didn't know that I was going to bring a gun along. Thank you for your question. I appreciate it. I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more. Principals are held equally accountable as everybody else who's involved in the crime, regardless of their actual role in the offense. To be a principal in Florida, two things have to occur. One, 